I just feel like anyone who disagrees is giving hater energy. I don't know, it's giving bitter. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Nyla. I make lifestyle, beauty, fashion content, a little bit of everything over here. So we are back with another video. Today's video is going to be a holiday wish list slash gift guide. If you are familiar with my content, I did one of these for the first time on my channel last year. And so, you know, holiday season is obviously upon us. So I figured why not make another video? So I have my wine here. Y'all should go get you some wine as well. Go get you some coffee, hot chocolate, whatever, you know, whatever drink of choice is for you. But before we get into the video, don't think that, you know, I'm not gonna mention nothing about liking, commenting, and subscribing. Duh. If you're interested in seeing what I have on my holiday wishlist gift guide, then let's get into today's video. I already started sipping my wine. Mm, so good. I'm having pink Moscato. Forgot the brand, it's a New Zealand brand, but when I came to Minneapolis in February with Danielle, we went to Murray's Steakhouse and I ordered, she ordered a Riesling. It's a little too dry for me. I like very sweet wine. That is why I like Moscato. I like sweet drinks in general. But they had Moscato on the menu and when it came, it was pink. And I was like, oh, and then I tasted it. I was like, oh, this shit's fire. And so they have the name of the bottle on the menu. And so I looked it up and I was able to find it in a wine store. And so now we have it. So yeah, love this wine. Okay, we got a long ass list. So my ass needs to get to talking. So we are gonna start with clothes and accessories. So let's start with my sweats and loungewear pajama section so obviously it's winter season unless you happen to live somewhere where you don't really experience a winter but here it's cold and so duh loungewear is perfect and so are sweatpants sets especially if you are someone who works from home or you work from home majority of the week i feel like this is perfect for you or if you know someone in your life who that is their you know work style environment this would be perfect for them but I've been eyeing the Pangaea 365 hoodie and their Pangaea 365 track pants, which are their sweatpants. I've been eyeing them for a good little minute. So I love Pangaea. I have their sweat shorts. I have two different pairs. I've had them for a few years now. I love them. They're so comfortable. They're made, I believe, from like 100% recycled cotton. And they're so comfortable, so stretchy. I just love them so, so much. And so because I really love them and I enjoy the quality, I've been eyeing their hoodies and their sweatshirts. Now I'm not gonna hold you. You're gonna spend a little coin at Pangaea. I'm not I'm not gonna hold you. However, comma, it's not a fast fashion brand, so you really are paying for the quality, which I which is really good, like I just said. It's a more sustainable, earth-friendly brand, and so that is also partially why their items cost more, but I promise it is worth the money. So since I own their shorts and they're great quality, also heard like a lot of other good things about Pangaea, I really want to try their hoodies and their sweatpants. They also have other things as well. All of their stuff comes in like a multitude of colors, so highly suggest checking them out if you've never heard of them before or if you've never purchased from them before. I think sweats are like a great gift like to yourself and um, to others because don't we all want like cute stuff to like lounge around in? I personally do. Maybe that's just me, but you know, I would like that as a gift. So I feel like someone else would probably like that as a gift too. I don't know. Just some thoughts. Those are the first two items. And then going along with the theme of sweats, I also have the Aritzia TNA Cozy Fleece Mega Wide Cargo sweatpants long ass name their cargo sweatpants first cargos are really in right now i love cargos i own multiple pairs i even have a pair of leather cargos that i just got from abercrombie i just love cargos but 
I just feel like cargo sweatpants would be like so dope. And also I've heard really good things about these sweatpants from the TikTok girlies and the YouTube girlies. There are even some dupes floating around out there. I heard they sell them at Target too. And it's definitely gonna be cheaper at Target than it is at Aritzia because Aritzia got a hefty ass price tag also. But their clothes is like really, really, really good quality. So I highly recommend as well, if you've never shopped with Aritzia, you should get on that. But again, if you are a sweatpants person or you know someone who would like these sweatpants, they're also stylish. And so you can dress them up or dress them down. I feel like it's a really good gift. And it's something that I personally want. So I was like, why not include it? Okay, next. Y'all know I wasn't finna do one of these videos and not include Skims, right? If you're not new here, you know I love Skims. Skims, BTW, like my picture the other day, if you're watching, you know, hit your girl up. Let's work together. I love your stuff. I feel like my nose is running. You know how when you do your makeup, your nose decides to run? Why is that? It's so annoying. But anyways, yes, we had to include some skim stuff on here just like I did last year. So I'm really a fan of their cotton rib tanks. I was wearing one of them earlier today and their boxers. And so for their holiday sets, they're selling sets of three for their boxers and their tank tops like already together pre-packaged so you know you can just buy it as a little gift for someone and they have them in like the standard colors and then she has them in like the the new holiday colors which is like red i think up or a burgundy like a pink and i think maybe like white and so i think that those are great like gifts stocking stuffers to get somebody in for them to like dip their toe into skins if they've never tried it before or if they're a fan like myself we're just adding it to the collection. We're adding it to the collection. So they're really, really cute. So it's the Skims Cotton Rib Tank Pack and then the Skims Cotton Rib Boxer Pack, the holiday sets. So yeah. Next, we're gonna talk about the Skims Soft Lounge Long Sleep Set. This is also the holiday version, which comes in like this uh, deep burgundy color, very pretty. I think last year I included Skims pajamas on my wish list. I just really enjoy sleeping in t-shirts. However, sometimes I wanna be an adult and like, order pajamas because bitch like get it together so at some point i will be ordering these pajamas but if you're in the market for new pajamas or you're you know trying to figure out what to get someone i always think pajamas are a really good idea or a good gift to get somebody for the holidays along with slippers so i'm going to include this here as part of the loungewear pajamas sweatpants category the ugg diskette slippers i actually have them on right now the camera might not focus so i'll put a picture i love these they are platform ugg slippers i actually got them last year for christmas they are so fucking comfortable and i wear them everywhere yes i even wear them outside because who gonna check me boo nobody oh that's what i thought and if you got something nasty to say keep your comments to yourself then your mother tell you if you don't got nothing nice to say to keep it to yourself keep it to yourself I wear my slippers in my house and sometimes I wear them outside because they're that comfortable and also they're a platform so I feel like it elevates the shoe. So if you don't want to wear yours outside, that's fine. But I'm going to do what I want to do over here because yeah. But <laughs> anyways, I think slippers are always a great gift idea to get somebody and I love mine and I feel like you can't go wrong with Uggs really. So yeah. That leads me to the next section, which is gonna be shoes. So we're gonna do boots and then we're gonna do sneakers. First, we have the UGG Classic Ultra Mini. I'll put a picture on the screen. And then we have the UGG Classic Mini 2s. So they're like the really short ones and then the short ones. I think I might have had one of these on my list last year. I didn't ask for a pair of Uggs last year. I used to ask for Uggs like every year for Christmas, like all the time. But I have a few pairs, so I wasn't really pressed to like buy any, but like they are some that I'm eyeing. But I really do want to get a new pair. And so I'm probably gonna get the Ultra Mini or the Mini 2. Uggs also seem to be having a resurgence. I didn't know that they ever went out of style, but everybody's buying Ugg boots, Ugg slippers, Ugg whatever. Like, I don't know what's going on, but Ugg, Uggs, uh, Ugg makes quality um, slippers and boots. And it's also perfect because, you know, I live in Minnesota and it's motherfucking cold here. So, yeah. Next to our designer items that I have been eyeing for a while. I have not pulled the trigger because, you know, we don't need to make a purchase like that right now. 
other things that are more important. Also, I can't justify the purchase. If I'm gonna spend money on designer things, it has to make sense. Like I really wanna make sure that I'm getting my cost per wear out of the item. And if I don't feel like I'm actually gonna wear the item that much, I feel like what is the point in me like buying it? Cause then I'm just wasting money. But the first thing on here is the Alexander Vautier pointed toe boots. You've probably seen them. There are these like metallic looking boots, but they also come in like regular, like colors like black, like they have a black patent leather version and they have like other neutral colors, which you've probably seen like the metallic version, like the silver, the blue, the orange. They're so fucking pretty. There's also dupes of this boot flying around. And if I can snag my hand on it, I will probably buy the dupe um, before I decide to like really splurge on the actual designer shoe, but they're so, so cute. The next ones I have are the Hanifa Zoe boots, specifically in the chrome color. The black color is cute too, but, and she also has a white pair, but the chrome, them, them shits are fire. They are fire. Like Hanifa's uh, be in her bag, like all the motherfucking time between the clothes and the, sh uh, the shoes fire every time. She makes very high quality things. I have a few of her pieces in my closet very much giving quality, like you will never be in the wrong purchasing from her, whether it's for yourself or a gift for anybody else. But the Zoe boots, they are a statement. They're so cute. Those I would probably buy before I buy the Alexander Vautier boots. They're also cheaper. The Alexander Vautier boots, I think, are anywhere between like 1,500 and 2,500. Although yesterday when I was looking at, on Farfetch, a few of them are on sale and a few of them are even less than a thousand right now. And then the Hanifa Zoe boots I think are 650 or like right under 700. So cheaper and Hanifa's black owned. So yeah, but they're both really, really, really cute boots that I've had my eye on for a little minute. So at some point, especially as long as she never, she meaning Hanifa never gets rid of that Zoe boot, I will be buying it at some point in time. So next we are going to move on to sneakers. And so I haven't bought any new sneakers in a while. Surprisingly, like last year, I was buying a whole, like a shit ton. Last year and the year before I was buying like a shit ton of sneakers. I haven't bought any new sneakers since whatever the last pair of Yeezys that I bought. So I'm in the market for some new sneakers and I really want a pair of New Balances, specifically the 2002R Protection Pack, the Rain Cloud ones. I think that's what they're called. I really want those. They are fire. They're like different shades of gray, which we all know I love neutrals over here, especially if you're not new. So like they would just be fire to have in my closet. And then you pair it with like some sweatpants, like from Aritzia or Pangaea, a whole fit. A whole fit. Them shits are fire. And I, I, need them in my closet ASAP. Next, we are going to move on to outerwear. I believe I included this item on my wish list last year, and it is the Aritzia Superworld Super Puff. I have mine in the high gloss black color, and I actually got mine last year as a gift from my parents and perfect because I live in Minnesota and it's cold. So if you do live somewhere that actually does get cold, especially somewhere that like gets really, really cold, gets snow, like real snow, I think that this is a great investment. It is a little pricey. It's not Montclair or what is it? Moose Knuckles pricey, but like the coat is like basically $300. So, but it's very well made and it's super warm and it protects up to negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit, at least the one that I have. And it comes in different like lengths. It comes in different like finishes. It comes in like an array of colors. So if you or someone else you know is in the market for a good puffer coat, that's gonna keep you warm through like these cold winter months. And for here, that's probably gonna be until motherfucking April. <sighs> Go get you an Aritzia Super Puff coat. Next, I have the Chicago City Sports Varsity Jacket. So I was watching a TikTok the other day. I'm pretty sure it's someone that I'm friends with on there. She just did an unboxing of a varsity jacket 
from that brand and I have been in the market for a varsity jacket. Zara has some cute ones, but the one from Chicago City Sports, they have like an array for both like men and women. I think the women's ones are a little bit more cropped and then they have unisex ones and then they have men's ones. All them shits is fire. And I will be snagging me one of them up. I will be snagging one of them up for me. I mm, can't talk today. I will be purchasing. Um, they are absolutely fire and I just need one in my closet. And you know, again, if you have like someone who's into fashion and that kind of shit in your life, I feel like that's a really dope gift to buy them with all like the patchwork and stuff. It's just really, really cool. They have a lot of options, so definitely check them out. Next. We are going to get into accessories. So we got purses, jewelry, and sunglasses up next. Let's start with purses. Y'all know I wasn't finna make this video not include the, the um, Coach Pillow Tabby 26. It is like probably by far my favorite bag in my closet. I use it quite often aside from my Gucci Marmont crossbody. I use that Coach bag so, so much. Coach really has been in their bag like the past few years. I don't know what their creative team is doing over there but they are doing their big one and yeah they are knocking it out the park they are doing what needs to be done coach makes quality products they always have i feel like they never went away but i feel like they've had a resurgence still and like they've become like popular again and a lot of the new styles and stuff that they're releasing are fire and this coach pillow tabby is one of them and the quality the leather is so good it's so good so i definitely had to include it on there they also make the smaller size but i have the larger size which is the 26 when i bought mine it was 4.95 i'm pretty sure that bag is like basically 600 dollars now so prices then went up and they're gonna keep going up every year because all the designer brands are increasing their prices and inflation is a bitch but high quality bag definitely worth the investment if um you're in the market for one or you're just looking for a new handbag in general or you want to buy um, handbags as a gift. I think handbags are great gifts. I've bought my friends handbags. I've bought my mom handbags. Like they're great gifts to buy, especially if you know that that person's actually going to like use it. Great gift. Highly recommend the Coach Pillow Tabby. I also have been looking at the Coach Pillow Tabby, the Sherling version, like the furry version that they just released, like for like the winter season, specifically the 18 size. There's like a dark purplish burgundy one and then like a light lavender one. They're so cute. They're so cute and they're absolutely perfect for the winter season. Now this bag is another coach bag. It's the Coach Pillow Madison Shearling Shoulder Bag in the Brass Bison color. It's the larger one. They also make smaller ones, but this one I'm talking about is the larger one. That bag is fire. And I might have to buy that for myself for Christmas. That is a bag. She is so fucking cute. I've been eyeing the Madison bag, but that Shearling version, mm-mm-mm. I need her in my closet. I need her in my collection. So we might have to make it do what it do and, and swipe the card. That's it for purses. So I'll coach, but you know, they make great bags and compared to a lot of other designer brands, cheaper, um, but the quality is impeccable. Next, we're gonna do jewelry. I don't have my name necklace on right now. However, I think name necklaces is giving very like 90s, early 2000s, but I love them so, so much. I wear mine, I have two. I wear one of them more than the other one now, but I wear mine almost every single day and I love it so much. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on mine or like people asking where they can buy one and things like that. So I put a link, well, everything's linked down below, but there's a brand down below for the name necklaces that I put in the description box. It's not where I got mine from. I don't think where the person I got mine from make, is in business anymore or makes them anymore, but I found a brand on Instagram that's reputable and makes really cute pieces. So I included that below, but I just think they're so cute. They're personalized obviously, cause you can put the person's name or you can put your own name. And I just think that that's like a great gift to get for anyone, especially if they're into jewelry or if you yourself are in to Ooh, excuse me, customized jewelry. Last in this category is sunglasses. And yes, it's winter time. Yes, it's getting darker early. Bitch, it's like, it's 
basically like fucking midnight at 5 p.m. But anyways, you can wear glasses during the day, you can wear glasses at nighttime, even during the winter, it's a vibe. And me personally, my sunglasses brand of choice is Desi. And so I have three Desi sunglasses on the list. Two of them I already like own a pair, but I want them in like a different colorway. So I have the Desi Backtrack sunglasses, I want them in black. And then I also have the Desi Read the Room sunglasses and I want those in black as well. And then she's releasing a new pair of shades soon. They might be released by the time this video is live. Not sure, but I know that they're releasing soon. It's the Desi Drippy sunglasses, but I want the ones with like the silver finishes or hardware, not the gold one. The, the silver chrome, it looks like chef's kiss it looks so fire so yeah i really love her sunglasses they are top notch quality i want to say that all of her sunglasses are unisex i could be lying but i feel like most if not all of them are if i'm not mistaken but very very high quality sunglasses obviously not like designer price but they are very well made. I think they range between like 70 and maybe like 100, 120 for sunglasses, but they're very, very well made, very good quality, very stylish. Her and her team are on point. And if you want something that's better quality than like what you would get from Shein or Forever 21 or wherever, Desi is your girl. Last pair of sunglasses I do have are a pair of designer ones that I have been eyeing for the past few months yeah because i was watching somebody's youtube video and she had bought a pair and i was like oh them shits are fire they're a pair of prada sunglasses i'm gonna put them on the screen right now at macy's and somewhere else they're on sale i love these sunglasses they're so cute i specifically like the how the frame looks on the side and how they like integrated the prada like triangle logo into the legs of the glasses they are so so fire and those would be a pair of sunglasses especially because they're black that i actually would use so that's why they're on my list now we are going to move on to personal care and so this section is really going to be about like beauty fragrances body care and self-care so we're going to start with hair appliances first I'm pretty sure I included this last year. I have to include it again this year because I really am not gonna stop preaching about how good the Dyson Airwrap is. I feel like it was the best $500 I done ever spent. I love that, sh that um, appliance so much. I use it every time I wash my hair because that's what I use to blow dry it along with the comb attachment, which I'm also including in this uh, wishlist gift guide. I actually just bought mine, but I love it. I've used it already. I like the brush that came with my Dyson and by far I can blow dry my hair a lot faster with my Dyson than I have been with any other blow dryer but with the comb attachment I can even do it even faster. That shit just glides through your hair and it was specifically made for you know those of us with curly and kinky hair. That's who it was made for and it works extremely well. It's a wide tooth comb attachment which is perfect because that's what we should be using on our hair so that we don't or you can use like a demon brush um to blow dry your hair or you can use a rounded brush if you know how to do that i'm just bad at that which is why i don't use that so yeah highly recommend the dyson air wrap and the comb attachment last hair appliance i have is the Battleist pro nano titanium Flat iron, so I have the that flat iron, but mine is black. The plates are still titanium, but my flat iron is black. They don't make that one anymore, but the one that you have probably seen is with the blue coating or the blue color, but the plates are still titanium. That's what my hairstylist used. That's also what my mom has. It's a phenomenal flat iron. It gets your hair so freaking straight. Like, it's not even funny. If you're in the market for some hair appliances or or you might not be in the market, but somebody else might be in your life, go ahead and cop. They gonna love them. So we are moving on to fragrances. And the first one I have is Le Labo Tonka 25. I have a sample of this that came with my Santal 26 
candle from Le Labo and I do like floral scents for like perfumes and candles, but I also like a lot of musky, like woodsy scents. I don't know, they just smell really good to me. And if you like that kind of scent, then you would probably like the Le Labo Tonka 25 perfume. I, it just, it smells so, so good. So I really wanna invest in getting like the actual like bottle Sometimes when I look at uh, look for it on the Le Labo website, I guess it depends on where you're located. It won't always let me purchase the certain size I want. However, they do sell this fragrance at I believe Neiman's and Nordstrom. So yeah, if you're ever there, check it out and smell it. I think it smells really, really good. Next one I have is YSL Black Opium. I have this perfume. I was actually gifted this perfume by Brit for my birthday in March, so shout out to her. I love that perfume. However, I don't wear her during the day. I usually wear her at nighttime if I'm going out. I don't know why it smells like a nighttime fragrance to me. If you've ever tried why I sell black opium or you have it, maybe like you're the same and you might only use yours at nighttime or understand why we use mine at nighttime, but it's giving nighttime fragrance to me. So I typically use it at nighttime, but I love the way that smells. I also love my YSL Libre, which Brit also got me, I think, for my birthday two years ago. But I typically use that during the day. I've mixed Black Opium and YSL Libre before, and actually the combination is fire. But I typically use YSL Libre during the day and then Black Opium at nighttime. Next two are ones that I have been eyeing that I would like to try. So the first is the Kayali Vanilla 28 perfume. I like vanilla scents as well. I also like them in my candles. And so I feel like I would really like this scent. I've also heard great things about it. I've heard great things about Kayali perfumes in general. Also, I really love the bottles. The packaging is so pretty and so aesthetically pleasing. Y'all know I love aesthetically pleasing things. And so I really want to try it. And then the last uh, perfume or fragrance that I have is by Glossier. It's the Glossier U perfume. I've also heard that this is a very slept on but very like clean scent perfume and I really want to try it and it also has really good reviews on Glossier's website. So since I'm already a fan of some of their products, I really want to try that perfume. Next is body care. I only have one product for that and that is the Fenty Skin Butter Drop. If you have not tried this yet, there's also a limited edition version out right now that has shimmer in it that the girls have been like going crazy over and selling out as of late. I haven't tried that one, but I think what, we, what is just different is the packaging of it and then the fact that this has shimmer in it. But the original one is so moisturizing. It smells good, it's thick. Like Rihanna really did her thing when she well, she didn't specifically make it, but you know, she was in her bag when she like conceptualized this and wanted to uh, create this kind of product. I love this moisturizer. And actually the next time I go to Sephora, I need to go uh, pick me up some, but I really love this. We love having moisturized skin. We're not trying to be ashy over here, especially as it's getting colder outside, your skin gets drier. This is a really, really, really good quality lotion. And I think like body care is a great gift to give someone like people used to and probably still do. I used to receive like stuff from Bath and Body Works as gifts and I used to love Bath and Body Works. Don't necessarily like dislike them anymore. I just don't really shop there anymore. But I used to love their lotions and um, their body gels and their little sprays. They were so cute. But yeah, I think body care is always a great gift. So the Fenty Skin Butter Drop. Get it for yourself and get it for somebody else. Lastly, I labeled this under self-care, but they're from paper. They're, it's their wellness journal and then their gratitude journal. I actually have both. You can customize them, personalize them for yourself or for anybody else. And I think just like one kind of like going through and saying like what you're grateful for like throughout your day or going through and like you know, reflecting on your day or reflecting on your week or reflecting on your water intake or how much you're moving your body or like, you know, where you wanna be a few months from now or where you wanna be a year from now. I think those things are like very important and are, I would consider that a part of like self-care and taking care of your, your entire self. So I included it under self-care, which I've included under this broader category of personal care. 
um, because I think that is taking care of yourself. Just like I think like doing things like going to therapy is taking care of yourself. So I think reflecting and writing things down that like is in your head or things that you are hoping to accomplish or I think it's important to like write those things down whether you decide to write it in an actual like notebook or you decide to write it like on an iPad if you're someone who's more into like digital planning and that kind of stuff sometimes I do that too so yeah I just think journals are like a great gift to get someone so next we are going to move on to home i have two products that i have listed under organization one of them technically is not home i guess technically it should have gone in the clothing and accessories category but we put it under here because it's an organization product so the first one i have is a shoe organizer and they have these at the container store but i got mine from amazon and i bought them like right before i moved in or did i have them before i moved here or did i order them after i already moved in i might have ordered them after i already moved in but if you watch one of my moving vlogs, I showed y'all me like setting it up and everything. But that's where I have like 90% of my shoes. They're organized in the shoe organizers. And I feel like it just makes your closet look so much cleaner, more organized, more aesthetically pleasing. And it's just, I just enjoy, you know, looking at it. And I just really like it and it's something that i've always wanted because like sometimes you know your shoes be out and it'd be looking a little cluttered in the closet and it's like bro get some shoe organizers so it's a great gift even for yourself the next thing i have on here is a purse organizer not a purse organizer as in like to put your purses up like in your closet more so as like a purse organizer insert to put in your purses especially like your tote bags I just bought one before I went to Tulum and I still have it in my coach bag because I use that bag for work when I do go into the office and I love that purse organizer so so much because everything is like in its proper place because everything has a little compartment this way everything is not you know just all over the place in your bag because that's kind of annoying right? I feel like that is a phenomenal gift. Next, we're gonna move on to kitchen stuff. So I cook all the time. I love my pans. I bought a pot and pan set from Cuisinart um, maybe like two or three years ago when I moved into my previous apartment in North Carolina, but I've been wanting the always pan. I feel like the girls are trying to influence me. Apparently that pan is supposed to replace multiple pans in one and it's a non-stick pan and the coating is also non-toxic and really good for you because there are certain uh, pans where like the material that they use for the coating for the pan to be non-stick might contain like chemicals that are actually not good for you. So apparently the always pan is supposed to be better, but I really want to try it. It's a cute little pan. I want to like see what the hype is and they come in all these cute little colors, very aesthetically pleasing. So I would like one, but also if you know anyone in your life who really does enjoy cooking, I think getting like pots and pans, like small little kitchen appliances and gadgets are really cool gifts. Going off of that, of course I was gonna include the Ninja uh, Foodie 2 Basket Air Fryer, which is what I have. I think I included this um last year as well but if you don't have an air fryer i don't know what you're doing now i know some people who are haters <coughs> sharabia who don't like air fryers for whatever reason i don't know what air fryers did to her i understand we have ovens in our houses but like an air fryer is just so much more efficient and to be honest i do think it cooks certain foods a lot better than an oven does I'm gonna be honest, I probably only turn my oven on like once. I use my stove all the time, but I probably only turn my oven on maybe like once or twice a month. I use my air fryer for like basically everything almost. I make french fries in there, whether it's fresh or frozen. I make home fries in there, um, like fresh, like home fries, home potatoes. I make turkey bacon in there. I make hash browns in there. I make salmon chicken wings chicken legs i've made lamb chops in there before i prefer lamb chops on the stove but i have made lamb chops in there before i've roasted some broccolini in there before um some cauliflower in there like 
I use that shit for everything. So I don't know. I think it's a very convenient appliance to have. It literally does everything. And I love that it has the two baskets because if I'm cooking two separate things that require like different, uh, different like cooking modes, like whether it's air fry, bake or whatever. And like maybe it also requires different times. Like it works for that. Or if like it requires different cooking modes, but it'll take the same amount of time to cook, you can match cook it. Um, it's just a very, very convenient like product. And I love mine. And I feel like everybody should have an air fryer. Now, I'm sure in a few years, or maybe they're already talking about how air fryers are probably not the best for you. Just like microwaves apparently aren't good for you. We all finna die one day, but like, the air fryer, we not getting rid of her. I'm finna stick beside her, cause I love her. So yeah. Next, we have wine glasses. So not these in particular, these were a gift from my neighbor Diana, but I think wine glasses, especially cute ones, are a really good gift if you are buying it for yourself cause you like wine or you have some winos in your life. I think wine glasses are a great option. So I have two options here. I have a set of four wine glasses from Anthropology, and then a set of wine glasses from West Elm. The West Elm ones, you can get a set of four, a set of eight, or another type of set. And then I think with both of these uh, sets from Anthropology and West Elm, you have the option to choose like white wine or red wine wine glasses. So obviously you use a different wine glass for different types of wine. However, sometimes I just use whatever uh, wine glass I want. I will pour whatever kind of wine I want in there. So there's that. But yeah, I think wine glasses are like a phenomenal gift to get for somebody or for yourself. They're also really pretty to look at, you know, when you're gonna go pick out your, your wine glass that you wanna pour your wine into, so yeah. Last thing I have on here, which was actually a suggestion by Sharabi, and I was like, huh, that's actually a really good idea. It's the Ember Temperature Control Smart Mug. So if you or someone you know, like really enjoys hot coffee, tea, hot chocolate, this is like perfect for you or for them, or for the both of you, because it's gonna keep your hot item hot. So I think that's really cool. I feel like my mom would probably love something like this because she loves her coffee and she has multiple a day because mm, she just loves her coffee. <laughs> so I feel like this actually would be like super duper dope and like perfect for her now that I think about it. But like, I feel like this is a super duper good gift idea. Next, we're gonna move on to bedroom and we have the hatch alarm clock. So I was watching someone else's uh, vlog the other day and they were talking about how they love their hatch alarm clock, how it like wakes them up so peacefully and like gently, cause you know, and let, if you don't use like the bedtime alarm system within your iPhone, if you use the regular alarm, that shit is obnoxious. But I have been wanting to like try out this um, alarm system. Um, it also plays like sounds and like white noises. It also serves as like a reading light if you need it to. So it serves like multiple different um, functions and it's aesthetically pleasing to look at. So yeah, I feel like if you're in the market for an alarm clock, like if you don't want to use your phone, I think that that is a great thing to purchase. Next for the home section, we are talking about candles. And of course I'm gonna include Forever Mood because we all know I love the candle lady, Jackie Ina. And so I have the Forever Mood April Ski Holiday Mini Candles, which she just came out with. So they're the mini versions of her full size holiday candles. And I really would like to try them. So that's why I put them on there. Also, I think buying somebody mini candles is a great way to introduce them to the brand or introduce them to the scent before they commit to buying the actual full size a uh, candle. So that's why I have that one on there. And then I have another mini candle set from Boy Smells. It's their Cameo Hanoki Phantom and LES mini candle uh, trio set. I found this at Sephora. I've heard good things about the brand Boy Smells. So I personally would really like to try their candles and see like if they're worth the hype. Um, I also really love their packaging. So that is why I included that on there. This one was specifically for me. However, Homesick does make other Zodiac, they do make other candles for the other Zodiac signs, but for myself, I would love the Homesick Aries candle because obviously, or not obviously, because 
everyone may not know that but i'm an aries um my birthday is march 25th so i'm a march aries and you know i would like to think we're like the best people on earth but apparently Mm, some people be having a lot of shit to say I don't know what Aries hurt you maybe you deserved it just kidding but I don't know what Aries hurt you but I think we're the best people on this earth I just feel like anyone who disagrees is giving hater energy I don't know it's giving bitter I don't know I don't know what do we do to you because I feel like we're the best people ever but I would like a homesick Aries candle but they also make other candles for the other zodiac signs they make them for different seasons they make it for different cities different states like they have like an array of candles and I've heard of this brand I heard about it a really long time ago but I've been wanting to buy their specific homesick Aries candle to try it next I have the Le Labo Santal 26 candle I do have this candle it's running out I purchased it because Donna had gotten me a gift card to Le Labo for my birthday and shout out to her because I have been wanting to buy a candle from Le Labo and I bought it like after I moved into my apartment and it said for Nyla's new home and it was just like really cute. But I love the way Santal 26 smells again earthy, woodsy, musky. I don't know I just really like that smell and I feel like it makes my apartment smell really good and I love the glass packaging with like the clean labels it's just again aesthetically pleasing to me but I'm running low so I need to re-up but that's a really good candle so if you've never tried a candle from Le Labo before I would highly suggest trying that one next two are candles that I have been wanting to try one of them is a is a newer wanting to try because they're a newer release but Glossier has two new candles so they sell a home candle duo one of them has red glass packaging the other one has pink glass packaging the red one is supposed to smell like the Glossier U perfume and then the pink one is supposed to be like a floral citrusy type of scent and they sell the both of them together for like $80 which in my opinion is kind of a steal so that is something that I think would make a great gift for someone and it's something that I'm personally eyeing for myself and then the last thing I have is the Diptyque Bays slash Berries candle so I feel like the Bays candle is like a go-to that people buy for, uh, from Diptyque and I want the one specifically with the matte black packaging because I feel like that shit would look fire in my apartment especially with against like all the white in here and yeah it just looks really pretty it has good reviews I've heard that it smells pretty good so if you've tried it before or any other candles from Diptyque let me know down in the comments if you like that candle or other candles that you try for them but it's one that I've been eyeing and you know kind of dying to try for a while next we are gonna move on to tech gifts so I have this split up into like tech for content creators because I'm a content creator so I feel like it only makes sense that I include that and then also tech for everybody else there are certain things like in the tech for content creators that like of course some someone who doesn't create content all the time and maybe it's just more casual for them could benefit from but especially for content creators that's why I included it in that section so we're gonna start with content creators first if you're into making like formal like sit down videos like this and hauls and that kind of stuff get you a DSLR that is what I'm filming on right now I'm filming on the Nikon D5600 it came with a standard 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens but I'm using the 30 millimeter lens which I bought separately I probably bought it maybe like a year after I bought this camera it's my favorite lens the background and make it does the bokeh effect and so it looks so buttery smooth and like blurry back here I love it and the quality of this lens is better than the kit lens the kit lens is good but this one is better I do use the kit lens sometimes to film videos but I prefer to use this lens and then I use the kit lens though when I want to take pictures with this camera so I use it to take certain content for Instagram other times I use my iPhone and then um, I also use this camera for sit down videos and so if you are into like taking content for uh, photo purposes like Instagram or something and then also video content or one or the other a DSLR camera is great I can't speak to other ones I've heard Canon makes really good DSLR cameras but I have a Nikon so that's all that I can speak to my dad also has this camera and he likes it as well so yeah 
have another camera which is the sony zv1 that is what i use to record my vlogs i got it last year around this time actually i think i got it before thanksgiving and i'm in love with that camera it's fire sony also came out with a recent i think like updated version of this camera and then they also have the sony z ev1 or or something like that that one is a mirrorless camera so you can change the lens but they said that it's made for vloggers but i have a sony mirrorless um camera that i used to use to vlog on but i wanted one that i didn't have to change the lens on which is why i went for the sony cv1 and i really love it so for the vloggers it's a really good camera along with that i also got the sony zv1 vlogger kit what that um came with was the tripod remote so like it's a tripod to put the sony camera on and you can control the camera because it has a built-in remote you can control the camera from the tripod it's actually super dope and the memory card came with that the camera itself i ordered mine from amazon it only came with the camera body and the uh battery but the vlogger kit came with the tripod remote and the sd card and then the last thing that i got for my sony zv1 was some extra batteries with a charger. So your camera comes with the battery and it comes with the plug to be able to um, charge the camera. However, I think it is very important as a content creator to have extra batteries for your camera. I actually need to get extra batteries for this camera, but for my vlog camera, I definitely have extra batteries and it comes in handy when I am vlogging because in case I forgot to charge the battery or something that I'm recording takes up a large amount of time to record, meaning I have the camera on longer, so it's going to drain the battery faster. This way I always have extra batteries on deck. So I have three batteries for my Sony ZV-1, the one it came with, and then the two extra ones that I got that came with a charger. So that is that. Next, an external hard drive. This is like really, really crucial. If you are into making videos, Please do not edit your videos. Do not edit and store them on your actual computer's hard drive. Edit and store or save the files on your external hard drive. I have one from, I believe, the brand WB and it's a one terabyte external hard drive, but I wanna upgrade it to the Lacey. I think that's how you pronounce it. And that's the one I have linked down below. But I believe I also have the one that I currently have linked on my Amazon storefront. But the Lacey one is supposedly like the one that a lot of creators use and it's supposed to be really, really good. And they have multiple different terabyte um, or storage options for that one. I want to upgrade to a two terabyte one. So when I do that, I'm probably going to buy the one from Lacey. But yeah, please do not create like video editing files and save them on your computer. Do that on an external hard drive because if not, you will slow your computer down and fuck the processor up. So please do not do that. Next, I have a USB-C hub for my MacBook. So I have the MacBook with the touch bar. I think I bought mine in like 2019 or 2020 and that MacBook does not have all the USB or SD card reader ports. The newer MacBooks that they just came out with, they have them, but like I don't believe the Air or the versions with the touch bar have that. They only have the USB-C port and then obviously I think the headphone jack. So I bought a USB-C hub for my MacBook so I can plug it into the USB-C adapter or the USB-C uh, port. And then like that hub functions as an adapter that I can plug my external hard drive in to or the um, memory card directly from my camera. So that's why I have that. I can also plug that hub into my iPad because my iPad has a USB-C um, port so it comes in handy if i want to like view pictures from my camera or my or videos from my camera immediately like on my ipad so i think that's a great thing to have next we have the newer portable tripod that's what i currently have my camera on i also use it for my vlog cameras sometimes when well when i remember when i'm not lazy but i use it with my vlog camera at, as well when i want to record like cooking content because i can angle the camera a certain way and do all these different things with it and it's very sturdy it was definitely more expensive than my last tripod that i have but i love it so much and 
I highly recommend that if you are a content creator, you invest in a good tripod, or if you are just someone who just likes to take pictures or whatever, just casually get you a tripod. Along with that is a tripod phone mount, which I do think that this is something that like anyone can benefit from if you're just like interested in like taking videos and shit for like reels or um, TikTok or just taking your own pictures getting a tripod mount for a tripod so that you can put your phone on it so that you know it's in a static position for you to take photos or videos so that's something else that i purchased and then we're going to talk about lighting so i have a newer ring light i have i've had mine for a good few years. This is like back when I still had my makeup blog, which I don't have anymore. Um, but my parents had got it for me one year for Christmas and this is kind of like when I started getting into making content, but now I use it for the purpose of like videos and stuff, especially if I wanna record in a certain way and so like it might be backlit, the ring light is good for that. Or if I do have good natural lighting but I just wanna amplify it, the ring light is good for that. And then I kind of want to upgrade my ring light to the newer two pack dimmable LED studio lights. Like you can dim them. I think you can change the colors. You can do all these different things. There are other brands that make lights similar, but because I have a newer ring light and a newer tripod and the quality is good, I'm just probably going to go with them when I decide to upgrade my lighting. But yes, uh, lighting is very, very crucial for us content creators. All right, back to tech gifts for the regular folks, for those of you who are not content creators. I have an Amazon Echo Dot because I love my um, little Alexa box. I had to make sure she wasn't gonna say anything, but I love her. I use her to control the TV in both my living room and my bedroom. It's uh, connected to both. Um, I have a Roku TV, so I was able to connect it. And then she's also connected to my phone so I can use her as a speaker and play music. She's also connected to my iPad so that I can play music so i love her and then if you're into like making your home like a fully smart home and you have like smart light bulbs and all the things like that you can also hook up your your echo dot to those things to control it with that as well which is really dope and then obviously you can ask her questions and make grocery lists order things from amazon whole foods that kind of shit so she comes in handy quite often next on here i don't have one but i've seen them in person and they look like really cute and i feel like if you're only gonna buy it buy an amazon echo for like the speaker capabilities i also feel like a apple homepod mini could be great as well i don't know if they have this other similar capabilities like the echo dot does but i do know that it's an actual speaker and the sound quality is actually really really good and they come in all these cute little colors and they're like these little circles and they're just really aesthetically pleasing and apple makes great products so i feel like you can't go wrong and that's a great gift for anybody next we have an apple ipad I love my iPad. I have an iPad Pro. The price obviously ranges depending on whether you get an iPad Air, Mini, iPad Pro. Obviously, iPad Pro is going to be the most expensive option. I have an iPad Pro, but I got mine in like 2019 in grad school. I had an iPad before that, but it was old and it was like slowing down and stuff, so I got a new one and definitely best money I ever spent. I use my iPad all the time. I use it for work related stuff. I use it for content planning stuff. I use it for just like planning out my week, sometimes uh, journaling in my digital planner. I use it to watch YouTube, watch Netflix. I use it to check emails. I use it for a multitude of things, listening to music, like whatever my heart desires. I love my iPad. I love it so, so, so much. And I feel like I have my life together because I have an iPad. If you want your life to be together, get your iPad. Get somebody else a iPad if you want them to get their life together. I don't know. I think it's worth the money, great investment. And so, yeah. Two last tech things, Apple AirPod Pros. I love wireless Bluetooth headphones. I have AirPods, but I want the AirPod Pros now. Actually, when I bought my MacBook, I had the opportunity to get the AirPod Pro. So you could get the Air regular AirPods for free. So I already had AirPods at that time, but since it already came with it, I was like, I'll just have the other, an extra pair of AirPods, which I actually ended up giving to my director. She loves them. 
but I low-key wish I would have paid the extra $99 to just get the AirPod Pros because that $99 price was still cheaper than what AirPod Pros are actually going for. But I would like a pair of AirPod Pros and they also have like noise canceling capability, which I think is kind of cool, but like also kind of like scary and weird because like you literally can tune the whole world out, but I feel like that's like really, really cool. So I would like to upgrade my AirPods to AirPod Pros. I've heard nothing but like great things about them. And then the last thing is a wireless charging station. So can't speak to whether or not this works for Android devices, but definitely if you have like an iPhone, you have AirPods and you have an Apple Watch, you can charge all three of your devices on this one charging dock. And I had a charging station like that. I think I got rid of it, but I would like a new one that's a little bit more sleeker and like more compact so this is one that i'm looking at buying and if you would like to charge all your devices on like one little charging station then this is the perfect gift for you or if someone you know has all three of these devices or at least two out of three devices it's like the perfect little gift for them last thing that we have is for the pet lovers so anyone who's been to my old apartment or this current apartment has seen my portrait that I have in my apartment of Skipper. I've also posted it to my, excuse me, to my Instagram story before. And I've gotten questions on like where I've gotten it from. Oh, that's so cute, blah, 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 blah. I got it from Weston Willow. I think I bought it in 2021 because I got Skipper at the end of 2020 um, for Christmas. So I'm pretty sure I ordered it in like at the beginning of 2021. And so that portrait is kind of of when he was still a puppy and he had his baby face. It's one of like the few, the first few pictures I took of him and you send them in a picture and they create the portrait for you and you get to customize the background and what kind of like frame you want, how big you want it, all these different things. I actually bought my dad one of our uh, family dog, Hazel. I bought him that as a gift one year and he loves it. So yeah, for the pet lovers in your life or if you are a pet lover and you wanna have a cool like little picture of your like pet in your home, hit up Weston Willow to get your pet portrait. Very, 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 very last thing. I just feel like this is always a great gift for any occasion and not just the holiday gift cards because you can get them for certain stores, certain restaurants, or you can just get like a Visa or MasterCard gift card and just put money on it and then that person can buy whatever their hearts desire. I think gift cards are always a great idea so I just thought that I would mention them. But yeah, that is everything on our list. All right, y'all, that is it for our holiday wish list gift guide for 2022. So I hope that you found some things that you might want to put on your wish list to, you know, send to somebody to get you or some things that you just want to buy yourself or there's some things in here that you might want to give to somebody else. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you beautiful people in the next video. There's some wars in this house. 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 There